All right, here we are in starch room again. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I've got a pretty good dad joke for someone who's not a, doesn't have any kids. Yeah, boy, you're going to have lots of them. <laughs> the corn starch whisk. Before you press it, though, and I get on the uh, the other side of you, because I always shoot it from this side when you're pressing. Yeah, there we go. All right. No. Yep. And how many of these do you have to make? Four. Four total? And so you have two? I got two now, so just two more. Just two more? Yep. Yeah. Okay, we'll do it. At least one more, and then we'll go see uh, what Max and Mom are making a ruckus about. Yeah. Good idea. <laughs> Spying on him. But anyway, she came in the bathroom. And my mom's across the street. Swapping stories. <laughs> Her Max and Tara were they've been friends since like pre K or something like that. Yeah. They're in the same pre K class. Oh, you weren't? I think no, I was. I was like her and Matt Molina. Matt Molina and Max were like. And Kara, we're like the three musketeers in pre-K. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Huh. Um, and uh, then me and Max, I mean, you know, then me and Max became really good friends in uh, like sixth grade when we started playing lacrosse together. Yeah. Uh, look how flat that is. It's like perfect looking. Oh, now that I zoom in, I can see little holes, but oh, yeah? back here it looks like perfect. <laughs> I'm going to get on the right side of you again. I'm going to try to get an even better shot this time. Oh, Mom's telling the, the underwear story again. And when she was little, yeah. sent the end of the buttercream recipe for anyone who's interested. Okay. Mm hmm. see what they're making a ruckus about. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I gotta hurry up before the Wi-Fi gets all crackling on the camera. Whew, that was a close one. Yeah. Or you guys are making a ruckus back there. Oh, we're just telling underwear stories. Could you describe the ruckus? You already heard the underwear the story. Club. Well, it was, that's from the breakfast club. Oh. Come on, I, that's why I pointed at you because I figured you would get it. Uh, nah, come um, on, me. <laughs> What I'm ruckus are you fan. talking? This is not the ruckus you're looking for. Mom, you remember? Like, they were all in detention. Have you seen The Breakfast Club? I have, and it was boring. Oh, it was so good. They they're, they had uh, detention, God. and then they, I think, like, somebody, like, fell through the ceiling or something. Yeah, and so. then, uh... Did you just watch this movie yesterday or something? Like? No, I've seen it multiple times. Yeah. I remember. But, uh... Not for me. Yeah, but somebody, somebody like, fell through the ceiling. They have and then, Christmas vacation, so what? And then the guy came in, and he was like... What, what was that ruckus? And then the, the the bully or whatever his name was, he was like, 
Could you describe the ruckus? Gotcha. And then I think when he is walking out, he says like, uh, uh, was it like, don't mess with the bull or you'll get the horns. Ah, uh, I remember that one. Mm-hmm. Can we do the rest of the movie too, though? Can hmm? we like start from the intro? So there they were. <laughs> I, I really don't know. I just really like that scene where he's like, could you describe the ruckus? Yeah, I had no idea where you were going with that. Yeah. Whenever somebody says ruckus, I always say, could you describe the ruckus? Just to see if they know. Uh, Almost nobody no, ever gets like, the yeah, reference. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, that I'm was like an 80s that. movie, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so probably your peers aren't going to get it. Well, a lot of our peers are 25 to 35 on right. YouTube. On like the they YouTubes. They still were just... They still Thank watch stuff though. Mature audience. Mature. Yeah, but, yeah 35? That's like when uh, when they were in like high school it probably came out. In the 80s? Yeah. Yeah. Because okay. Leah was uh, um, 80, 89 and she's not even 30. You know? I know. She's you know. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Which yeah, is most good. of the time is less than 30. Usually. Usually, yeah. Well, do you have any underwear stories? Do you want to share, Max? <laughs> I have another underwear story. Oh, if you want to think about it, Craig, do you remember the, under, the underwear song? Oh, that's the one. Yeah, that, I, that's the other. I think we only have like two underwear. No, we have like three, I guess. So one care get bit by a dog. Underwear stories. Okay, <laughs> we already told the underwear story of me when I was five, putting on five or six pairs of underwear. Okay, another underwear story would be. You would have been a, you and Kara would have been about five. Um, mm. I went to Green Lakes where you love to run. It was like kind of cold. It was Memorial time. Weekend. I went yeah. there to buy the pass. It was cold, so there was nobody at the. Um, there was like one lifeguard, I think. Yeah, because it was Memorial Weekend, they yeah. had to have somebody there. But I bought I bought the pass, and I was just gonna leave. You guys were wearing shorts and stuff, but you're like, no, let's go see the lake. Okay, we'll go <laughs> we'll go to the lake. You can wade if you want. So. Um, you're, the water is kind of cold, so you guys are waiting. I said, okay, you can just go up to your shins. So you're going out, and you're going out, and you're going out, and the, pretty soon, you know, you're like up to here. I'm like, Craig, can you show me where your shins are? And you go, no, 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 that's your chin. <laughs> so anyways, you guys I was like, I can only go through my chin? All <laughs> right. I'm freezing, but I'm to my chin. <laughs> But um, you guys all kind of got the bottoms of your shorts wet, and you know how when you get yeah, it creeps up. Wet, it creeps up. Mm -hmm. So we get to the car. You guys all have wet shorts. It's like, okay, guys, uh, there's nobody around, so just um, take your shorts off. We're, we're driving home. Driving home in your underwear. <laughs> so you're laughing, but I wanted to make sure that you didn't get too embarrassed. So I made up a song, and it goes like this. Driving around in my underwear. Please don't stare because my legs are bare. I'm driving around in my underwear. It's good for on the spot, yeah, you know? That's the whole yeah. story. Two and a half lines? <laughs> yeah. There was no chorus. Two and a half bridge. lines? <laughs> yeah, and I think we all we all just kept singing it like the yeah, whole way home. Oh, you guys thought it was so funny. So then when we got home, I like guarded just so you could run past in case there's anybody out on the street watching for kids in their underwear getting yeah. out of the car. <laughs> we all ran upstairs laughing and giggling and that's underwear story number two. We'll save number three for another time. Okay. You wanna give it all away. Yeah. Yeah. I'm fresh out of underwear stories. Oh, so come on. <laughs> Do we have to call oh, your mom? Somebody, uh, yeah, made a, <laughs> somebody made a comment. I forgot which channel it was on, but they asked if you braid your own hair. <laughs> no, it's pre-braided. <laughs> pre-braided. <laughs> Where did you buy that? I mean, that, it's a, that's it's a, a trade secret. It's a, a, a hat braid, right? Yes. It's not like your really hair. Yeah. Braid, it's your hat. It's just the hat. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I just no. that. Eric, Eric braids it for you. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, I do have oh, a real now. question about your hair. How long is it when it's not braided? Uh, I'm at about hip length now. You Whoa. have the fastest growing hair of anybody yeah. I've ever Yeah, because it hasn't with. really been that long. Yeah, I swear I saw it three years. months ago when it was up to here. <laughs> I am not kidding. Well, that reminds me of... Uh, it's like Harry Potter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is that what you were going to say? Harry Potter? No. Uh, I wasn't going there quite yet. Uh -huh. But uh, when I was hanging out with Logan and Shannon... You know, when I was working at Panera and all that, uh, I was keeping it in a bun mm. in my hat, and uh, I finally took it off and started braiding it. She was like, "Where'd that come from?" You know, <laughs> <laughs> for all that in two months. You know? yeah. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We all have our gifts. Yours is growing hair. Mm -hmm.
I wonder if you could grow other things. Mm. Do you have a garden? Yeah, but I'm not uh, not too involved in that, you know. Greg grew kale once. And collards and Swiss chard and basil and oregano and tomatoes. All the green stuff too. Yeah. I we didn't really do anything though. Yeah. That's why I really like those plants because I didn't have to do anything like the whole summer. Well, the good part too is the kale would regenerate. Yeah. That was nice. Yeah, and the collards and Swiss chard too. Pick your salad. I made like some burritos out of the, with the collards before yeah. too because they're they're they come in, they're almost like wrap shaped in size so. It's pretty handy. Yeah, it's pretty neat. It did seem like kind of a lot of work though for. <laughs> I didn't do. Just go to the store. Just keep in mind, I didn't do anything the whole summer. Once I planted it, there was. N I literally did nothing. I think your dad did stuff though. Oh. So. Maybe that's why it turned out so well. Yeah. It's like, well, I didn't have to do anything. I think he, he may have watered it and tended it somewhere. Well, no, I watered it a couple times. Well, but mo but we had like pretty good rain that summer yeah. though, so not gonna be like this summer probably when it's the world's gonna melt by the end of the summer, right? Yeah. Tides will be up here. <laughs> that Florida's gonna be gone. New York is gonna be gone. Yeah, New York mm. City. I think his circus will still. No, be it's okay. gonna no like it's gonna start with Florida and she's gonna creep north. Oh, all that's the way. how the that's yep. how the coast works. Yep. It's down south. Yep. And I always thought it was to the east of us. Wow. No, nope. no. Nope. See, it's just it's just gonna be coming up. That's it. The east is gonna be fine. Uh -huh. It's it's science. You wouldn't understand. You're right. Yeah. I'm not very good either with that technical stuff. Yeah. I don't get it. Steve, when Craig had his little raised garden there, did you do anything to tend it? Yeah, I ended up taking care of it. Oh, you did? <laughs> you never told me. Because Craig was just saying how easy it was. You didn't have to do anything to yeah, it. He said, oh, I don't really want to do that anymore. No, that like the next summer. The next summer, I didn't. The next summer I said I didn't really want to do it, but like during the summer, I I, I just never I did anything because it, it. Yeah, I never, I never did anything because yeah, it, it was pretty it, easy. Yeah, boy, there's no weeds. <laughs> hey, hey, wow, that's pretty good. Well, I never saw any weeds. You always got them before I even saw them. <laughs> wow, this is easy. <laughs> I'm gonna be a farmer when I grow up. Piece of cake because. They get a lot of leisure time, clearly. Yeah, yeah. Dad just, no Dad's just gonna come at midnight and just weed everything. It'll be like Dwight from the office. Well, probably back then, I think you probably used to sleep a little later than you do now, so you probably yeah. did it before he came down here. And mm -hmm. yeah. Mr. Andrianus, if I give you 25 cents, will you change the water for me, please? I will give it to you in a full quarter, not even two dimes and a nickel or five nickels or 25 pennies. Please? Okay. My chocolate's getting cold over here. <laughs> and I want to I want to ride this wave. Thank you. That's true love right there. Thank you, you know. <laughs> well, I changed his water earlier, just nobody was here to witness it. Oh. <laughs> did it did it really happen though? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Dad. How do we is that know? true? Oh, uh dad said yes. Yeah. It did happen. Yeah. He was in the white yes. chocolate. <laughs> Remember you were in the white chocolate and said you put too much in there? Remember, Steve? I've got a dish going here. Yes. Yeah. My chocolate puddle is no longer a puddle, it's now a chocolate bowl. Oh, I don't see that. I think people would still want to eat it. Oh, yeah. And well, if we, I... we still have to do a pecan turtle recipe video, like from start to finish. Oh, okay. Remember, oh, Dad. Look how shiny they are. Oh, hey, by the way, now that we're making a video and I remembered, let's do some shout outs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, Steve. That just reminded me of something you said. Oh, you oh. totally asked for this. Are you filming? You're filming no. out. Okay, I, you're... I actually, I wish I got what Dad just said, um, what? but I, I don't even remember what he actually just said. But I <laughs> turned it on <laughs> right when you started laughing. Now everyone's like, oh, what did we miss? <laughs> say it again, Steve. Be careful what you say, Max. It's going to be used against you for the rest of your life. Oh yeah, that's what he yeah. said. Yeah, if you're surrounded <laughs> by people who have a pretty good memory. And, yeah. and who are filming. Yeah. 1985. Zipping it up. Your father and I are okay. We're basically newlyweds. Mm -hmm. We're driving down Thompson Road in his oh. red Cutlass. Oh. Oh, hold on, I gotta, I gotta get, I wanna get Dad in this. <laughs> no, it did not happen. Liar. <laughs> okay. So, Mom, are you gonna cry? A little bit. We're driving down the road. Not in the chocolate. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> you trying to dry it on your sleeve? Yes. <laughs> and the the band Loverboy comes on with a song. <laughs> the song is loving every minute of it. Okay, <laughs> Loverboy, loving every minute, da, 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 loving every minute of it. And your father says, "I like these guys. That's hard driving rock and roll." <laughs> Uh, he said it. I did not. He said it. That's <laughs> hard driving rock and roll. <laughs> Woo. Dang. That's, I don't know. It just you know, uh, struck me funny. It's the cheesiest uh, thing anybody's ever said. It's that, the cheesy things. That's no. his. That's his. I don't agree with you, but I don't want to get. In, I don't want to get into an argument over this. Okay. That's that face. All right. So no, now we've no, got. That. Now we've got that out of so the way. So Max, what he just said about watch what you say. He's right. Yeah, he's not kidding. <laughs> I'm not talking for the rest of the day. <laughs> he's, he's living the life. Oh, All right, so Sydney Smith from Alexandria, New York. One set real. Oh, Sydney Smith. She's not, she's not really that far away. Yeah. Where's she from? Hi, Sydney. Uh, uh, I was going to say Sydney. That's also a place in your Yeah, <laughs> um, Australia. Yeah, Australia. Um, Alexan Alexander? I might have meant to say Alexandria. I think it was like up north. Oh, Al A Bay? I didn't say Bay, so. No, oh, okay. I mean, Because I, I, I thought Alexandria was in Virginia. I didn't know we had a New York. Maybe we do. I don't know. Sydney Smith from a place in New York. Okay. Alexander, New York. That's what I wrote down on my phone anyway. Um, Romaine Tea Time from France. They asked for a shout out a long time ago, and then I forgot. I kept forgetting, and then and then I think I went to like one of the old one of the old videos to answer a comment, and I saw it again, and, they, and then I put up my phone. I was like, all right, and I have to shout out to Romaine Tea Time because they asked me like before we started doing shout outs. Yeah. Then you forgot again. Shouldn't you say something in French, Craig? C. Si. Spanish. And Italian. Who in the salt de pepper? C. Alina, oh, hold on. Uh, what's that one Alina, from? a six-year-old from South Carolina, wants to say hi to Steve. Hi. Say hi, Alina. Hi, Alina. <laughs> and, uh... Jen D asked us for a shout-out to all of the subscribers in Tasmania. And... I think she might be the only one because Tasmania is not a very, very big place. So if you, um, so Jim D, if you could do a comment and then ever, anyone else who's from Tasmania can like it, then we'll know how many people from Tasmania are watching. Assuming that people don't just like it, even if they don't live in Tasmania. That could happen. We don't want any cheaters. That could happen. And Ostesia. I think that's how I pronounce the name. Ostesia from Lithuania. Uh, I think it's our first Lithuanian person to ask for a shout out. Probably not very many other Lithuanians even watching our channel. So, hello to Ostesia. Yeah. Megan Nicole from the suburbs of Chicago, Illinois. That's what she wanted to say, the, the, the suburbs. Um, Ariel from Norway. Let's say hello. So. Say hello, Max. Yeah. Hello, Max. Hello, Max. Yeah. <laughs> um, Lucy from Austin, Texas. Who is she named after? The Melter. Yes. BB <laughs> King's guitar. Yeah. Uh, Amy from Manchester, England said that we make her laugh. We're not trying to, it just happens. <laughs> We're sorry. Uh, Serena Chavez from LA. Did we make her candy for them, no Chavez? Another Serena, you mean? Well, Serena is, uh, Serena Koo is from Washington. It smells okay. awesome. And her week is white so chocolate. Okay. Hi, Serena. I guess I'm going to give Dad some air time. He just over here mixing up his cream. Hi, Serena. Both Serenas. Both Serenas. <laughs> Koo and Chavez. Um, oh, not just me. I forget to put Mom I in there, too. I did ship to a Chavez, but I don't think it was a Serena. I don't yeah. know for sure, though. I, I think her name started with an M. Ryan Faith Jones and Yuka Valley, you better listen to your mom. Bazinga! 
There you go. Hope you're happy. Uh, one more did you take, man? <laughs> Chris from Michigan. Probably only one Chris in Michigan. So. And we have them as a subscriber, if I can say subscriber. Good luck. Show off. Sharon, Sharon and Ed from Nashville, Tennessee. And Jonathan Morales. Didn't say where he was from, though. So. He's a secret. Yeah. Probably witness protection. And then back from Ireland. The singer? Yeah. No, Whoa! I think it's back from Ireland? I love that song. Everybody's Gotta Learn Sometime that you did. I know it's a remake, but I really like that song. <laughs> it was in that movie, the... I forget that movie, but... Uh, that Jim, one. Jim yeah, Perry that one. And Kate Winslet. Kind yeah, weird. yeah, they're movie. watching our our yeah. stuff. I think okay. that person's name is Rebecca, though. Maybe they're oh, from like Snapchat or something. Strike that, reverse it. <laughs> anyway, I guess that's today's video. A bunch of shout-outs and stories and dad printing and stuff. <laughs> yeah, he's doing he's doing lots of stuff over here. Yeah, this is the last cream egg. Coconut cream egg. Yeah, then they'll be on the World Wide Web. All right, so. Do you have like an, a rough date for when they'll be on? Today is the 9th? Well, I still need you to hook me up with a photographer. Yeah. To take a picture of the cream eggs. But if that happens, if we can get a photographer to take that photo, that's really all that's lacking. Because mm -hmm. once we get those wrapped and ready, then we could probably have them ready to go Monday. Mm -hmm. So let's say Monday, March 13th, 2017. Alright, coconut cream eggs. I already put the coconut flavoring in, now I'm adding coconut shreds. Mm -hmm. Put this in at the end, otherwise uh, put it in too early, these will dissolve. Hmm. You don't, I don't want them to be dissolved in the coconut eggs. Yeah. Do you still want like pieces that you can bite into then? Yeah, so when you eat the coconut eggs, you'll have shreds of coconut. Oh, okay. Or yeah, coconut cream eggs, Max. I know what I'm spending my first paycheck on. <laughs> oh, by the way, you can put it That's too much. <laughs> because the way we feel is that's our profit. So we our profit. That way, we're not profiting on the board. So I can give you a point or something. Okay, it's ready to go. Alright. Yeah, I gotta get my funnel. I can see a bunch of the, uh, the chunks in there. Alright, I'm gonna make a Snapchat of what we're doing right now. So if you aren't following us on Snapchat, make sure you start. <clears throat> okay. Okay. What are you doing, Dad? Coconut eggs. Ah, it didn't work. I think your your hat was like blocking, like making a shadow. There we go. Hold on, just a second. This is taking this is taking a while. Right. What are we making today, Dad? Coconut eggs for Easter. Well, now it's not working again. It's like no, you guys can see it. I keep trying, but the I'm trying to put a bunny filter on them. All right, tilt your head up <laughs> like that. Well, I don't know. It's like still. Or, yeah, tilt. Bring your head that way. Yeah, that way. What are you making today, Dad? Coconut eggs for Easter. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your ears are like floating <laughs> and your eyes are floating too <laughs> yeah I think just because it's dark it uh it's like having a hard time recognizing like where your face is and stuff oh all right we gotta go before dad drops anything I gotta cross that no worries yeah she both ways right Oh, I forgot to move the tray. It's oh. easier over there. Darn. <clears throat> Got your bucket and your cardboard and your funnel and your stick. Yep. I think you're ready to go. Pretty high tech.
Well, these look almost clear. Yeah? Like, I mean, I can't see through them, but they're like... They're not quite as white as the marshmallow ones. Yeah. It's cool, like when you're uh, dropping them, I can see all the coconut shreds coming out. Yeah, that's good. Lots of coconut in the eggs. Yeah, it didn't dissolve or anything. Nope. Put it in too early though, you won't have any. Yeah, so for all the people trying to do this at home, you do it at the with end. their starch molds. Yeah, if you do it at home. <laughs> <laughs> you dissolve them. Yeah. If anybody does end up using our recipe, I would love to see a video or our Instagram picture. Because I mean, some people have used our recipe for uh, for making uh, ribbon candy or candy canes at home, but and they, they tagged us on uh, Instagram. Wow! So it's really cool seeing that. But this this I think would be really interesting if somebody could do this. If they just have like a starch mold press just I laying around. I don't know why I'd, you'd want to. <laughs> to eat them. <laughs> Hey Max, what's your hat mean? Oh, uh, it's where my dad used to work. It's oh. Nothing exciting. <laughs> Mark Russell and Associates. Yeah. Yeah, give Mark Russell a shout out. Yeah, <laughs> Mark Russell. <laughs> <laughs> no good. Uh -huh. Yeah, you know. I'm sure he's glad to know that he's reminded. Yeah. We'll have to get your dad on here sometime. Yeah. Yeah, we can get you guys both working down here. It looks like it's really flowing now. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we'll put you and Mr. Randazzo on the, uh, the No Egg Craig channel, drinking beer. Drinking your homemade beer, you guys could taste test it, huh? <laughs> Homebrew. Homebrew. <laughs> yeah, once we mentioned that in like one of the videos, I forgot which video it was, but once we mentioned it, everyone was like, are we going to see that video? But we're going to have to wait until... Summer. Yeah, wait until summer when Dad has the time to brew his own beer. And also, it won't be on this channel because it's not candy related. <clears throat> but his recipe is vegan, so I will be putting that on the No Egg Craig channel. The dad can do lots of stuff. <laughs> lots of stuff. Yeah. That's right, tough guy. You can make candy. You can make pizza. <laughs> you can make beer. Those are like the three. Play guitar. Yeah. You can make music. Chili. Your chili's pretty good too. Your stew. Do lots of stuff. Mm hmm. <laughs> okay, I gotta get more. Yeah. I mean, he's busy with his family. But he's got the chops, is what I'm saying. And he worked at the Middle Ages for a long time. Oh, yeah, that'll Talking about Uncle Mike? I am. Oh, he's gonna have to be on the channel eventually, too. He's got to. Yeah. I mean, I tried I tried this uh, this past open house. But then my camera was just malfunctioning, and it just yeah. it, it just didn't it didn't happen. You couldn't really I tried. Be spared at the door. Yeah. Hey, do you know who could do the door this time around? Max. They're gonna want to see a celebrity at the door anyway. Exactly. The door. Wait, what are we talking about? Oh, all you have to do is count people when they go down. Open house. <laughs> you just have to like let 25 people down at a time. No more than 25. Oh, okay. and, and talk. I to can them. count to 25. Yeah, and then answer any answer any questions that people have. But uh, you'll you'll learn. You, you have a handheld clicker. You count them up. Just do all four of these, and then are you doing some of the assorted assorteds in one of the molds too? Mm-hmm. Oh boy. Somebody asked in one of the videos, like, what was your guys' biggest mistakes? Uh, 
when making candy. And I think one of them, he said, what was your biggest mistakes when they first started out? But I don't think he watched the history video where you learned how to make candy ever since you were like a little kid. <laughs> so it wasn't like you're like one day we're like, all right, I think I'm gonna open up a candy store. I don't really have any big mistakes. But like every once in a while you guys would like, I don't know, burn a candy cane batch or something like that. <clears throat> Is that about it? That was because of your mom. <laughs> that was mom. Oh yeah, that was mom at open house. What? I want to tell everybody exactly what happened. Oh, well, I didn't say that. Dad, I I know roughly what happened. Like somebody well, moved. Uncle Mike moved the kettle too, and that you know, away from the uh, burner. Or no, I moved the the thermometer out mm -hmm. of the uh, kettle, and I put the thermometer in, and then I realized it was burnt. Oh. And then that's I came down, and there was like a bunch of candy cane pretzels. Like I think Erica folded them into like pretzel shapes, and I was like, "What's going on over here?" They're like, "Oh, we burned it anyway, so we can't use it." So yes. we're making stuff out of them. We just used the burnt candy canes because people didn't know it was burnt, and uh, just uh, formed it for them so they could see how the process was. I, I don't know. I'm just being so patient with the kids and stuff. You got what, Mike? All right, so here's this. It's yeah. like it's like Mike has a bunch of screaming girls at home. Yes, he does. I guess I guess that's why he's so good with the kids. Yeah, because he has a couple. Yeah, but I do too. But he's way better with them than yeah. I could ever be. He's just he's just so good with open house. Well, because once in a while he'll be like, okay, I gotta go take a break or I gotta go make a phone call. Or Terry, take over. And I'm like, okay, sorry, <laughs> you're getting the second string here. Yeah. That's why I use the American standard. That's pretty cool though. It cleans two times better than conventional toilet. When's uh when's the next open house then? It's the Saturday before Thanksgiving and Saturday after. So it's, it's every a year. I have to duck so much when I'm over there. Like, that. <laughs> like when I when I go through there, I like this is. I'll show, I'll show everyone what I like. This is how I would usually. Oh. So this is what I, I I always have to like go like this when I'm like because it gets even lower over here, like when I go under this pipe. So I gotta. That's what it looks like. Uh, and then I can go up, but like. Then, but then I'd have to duck down again, so I just, I just stayed down like this like the whole time, so I don't have to worry about it. Okay, well, that was I'm going to go have a heaping plate of pasta. Okay. Yes, master. Yes, master. <laughs> as soon as Igor gets through here, or is it Eeyore? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. No, that's funny, huh? Yeah. Hilarious. <laughs> Hey Max, when do you leave today? Eight. At eight? Oh wow, it's got a long shift. Not really. We could um, we could probably do like an Instagram live stream or a Facebook live stream or something. 
Oh, well, everyone's here. All the whole gang is here, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. I got my phone charging right now. Because most of the time, whenever we do a Instagram live stream, I I have my phone at like 20 or 25% because I do it at like the end of the day. Hmm. But now that it's charging, hopefully we'll be able to do it for a while. But I haven't done, a, we haven't done Facebook live stream, so I'd like to try that. Do what? A Facebook live stream? Oh yeah, I've heard the TV station say that. You heard it on the TV? Because the weather guy says he does that. Oh yeah? Yeah, no, we did it with Instagram, and Instagram, you literally just click live, so I'm hoping that Facebook is that easy, because I know um, YouTube, you have to, like, download, like, this extra app. If you do it from your computer, at least. I've never done it from my phone, but, like, on YouTube, you have to, like, download an app or a, a program, and, uh... Okay, I gotta get more. It's, like, a, it's a whole thing. Hmm. Yeah, Dad's kind of got to duck down, too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm six foot five. Yeah. Sure is. It's just the last of it. You know, like one and a half more trips. Something like that. Something like that. How many more? You have, is that the last egg tray? Yep. That's it. That's it, tough guy. <laughs> What's my line? <laughs> Where'd you come up with that one? I don't know. <laughs> Who's playing on the on the TV out there? Louisville and Duke. Who do you want to win? I don't know. Doesn't matter. You just want to get a good game? Yeah, I don't have favorites in college, so for SU. And UConn? Yeah, I want to see them go, I guess. SU and UConn? Well, yeah, SU mostly. Mm-hmm. But when Leah was in school, you had to root for UConn, right? Yeah, when she she went there, you, that's the year they had the six overtimes. Oh, they had the marathon, man. Yeah, one of our sisters went to UConn, and then my other sister went to SU. <laughs> And I went to Brockport, which is not a rival of either. Nope. Oh, this must be the, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, I can't even think of the name. Chocolate Drops? Yep. The Chocolate Drop Mold? And then more egg molds. And then are these like the patty molds? Yep, peppermint patties. Do you guys just do peppermint patties or anything else? Wintergreen patties. Wintergreen patties and peppermint patties. Hmm. How come you can't do these over there? Because I'm right at the bottom. I didn't want to move it. Oh. Until I'm done. Mm hmm. No, I'm done. Oh, until the funnel's done, you mean? Yeah, I only had a tiny bit in there, so. Yeah. Okay. All right, off we go. Round six or seven or whatever this is. <laughs> Shreds in there now. Mm hmm. Do they like kind of all sink to the bottom? A little bit. So these assorted will have a little bit more coconut. Looks like it. I tried to keep them even. I stirred it all the time. But yeah. So if somebody really likes coconut shreds, then they should order these because they're as coconutty as they get. <laughs> Oh, 
Not so much faster. It's almost like these are smaller. <laughs> yes, they are. Oh, no way. They are smaller than the eggs. I couldn't tell. <laughs> what came first, the creams, cream center or the egg? <laughs> That's my stomach. I'm not even hungry though. I think it's digesting. Like I just ate like an hour ago. I need a bit more. So you make it? Oh, swish. Is that a three? Yep, first one of the game. Wow. Oh, what does that mean? Is it 2 o'clock? Or 3? I don't know, I can't look at my watch. No, your watch says 3 o'clock. <laughs> Casio calculator watch. It's a old, cheap watch, but it lasts forever. Yeah. I've had newer watches and better watches that only last a year or so. Yeah, how long have you had that one? 20 years. Huh? 20 years. <laughs> back when that was new? Yeah. How much was a watch like that back then? 20 bucks. A lot. A dollar per year. <laughs> Good advertisement for Casio, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Them and Nike should start sponsoring us. <laughs> Nike's got to sponsor us for... Uh, shoe opening or uh, refrigerator opening shoes. <laughs> okay, I'll just finish off on the tray behind me. And then that'll be it. And then, no, there's a, there's a little tiny left log in there. In the, in the bowl. Yep. And then when mom comes back, we can do a live stream. Sounds like fun. Uh huh. All done? Or you still have a little bit more left? I don't know. Oh, it looks that's like it. That's it. Dad say, that, 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 that's all, folks. That's all, folks. Okay. Ready? Mm hmm. Are you ready, Dad? Okay, Coco I mean, coconut eggs. You better be ready, because you already did it.
56 eggs. Huh? It doesn't look like 56 eggs. Uh-huh. Okay. We'll pour them in here. Hurry! They're gonna hatch! Well, these are soft too, so you gotta be careful. You don't wanna... If you squeeze them too hard, they'll be all smushed. Well, they're because they are cream centers basically. Yeah. And you gotta be careful with them. Okay. Alright. Dead. Okay. Ready for coconut eggs? Are you ready for coconut eggs? Are you ready for coconut eggs? <laughs> Brad, are you ready for coconut I'm eggs? I'm ready for coconut eggs! I can't hear you! Okay. <laughs> Who lives in a house above a chocolate factory? Drag? Who? I can't think of anything else. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only line I can come up with. <clears throat> Instead of you, are you ready for football? Are you ready for coconut eggs? I was going for SpongeBob. Oh, SpongeBob. Yeah. I mean, I guess you could do that too. Yeah. <laughs> you can make your own song, I'll make my own song, right? How's SpongeBob song? You don't know the SpongeBob song? No. It's, how's the song? It says, it goes, uh. Hey, Patrick! <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Hey. <laughs> Hi, SpongeBob. <laughs> Nick. There we go. <laughs> He says, are you ready, kids? And then they go, aye, aye, Captain. Oh, yeah. And then he says, I can't hear you. And then they go, aye, aye, Captain. And then he says, oh, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants. I've never seen it. Abza, abza, no, I can't think of the words. Absorbent and... Are you making it up? No. He's a sponge. He's absorbent. Ah, uh, no. Maybe you can show him what he's doing to him. Maybe. Bit. Maybe. Nobody cares about me. <laughs> he's just, hey, you're the head peon, Brad. Yeah. Don't don't sell yourself short. The only peon. <laughs> Miami peon. The Miami peon. <laughs> Got a lot, of, a lot of nuggets there. Yeah, I have to do 2,822 of these. Wow. <laughs> If there's one less, mom will know right away. She got that right. She's like Rain Woman. <laughs> yeah, that's what we call her. Yeah. <laughs> is there a secret to doing these, Brad? The secret is not to crush them in your fingers. There you go. They have gentle hands. Well, you heard it here first. <laughs> Just call me Brad Gentle Hands. Brad Gentle Hands. <laughs> The head Miami PM. Okay, <laughs> There's another episode too where uh, they someone keeps calling the Krusty Krab is the restaurant that they work at, and they say, "Is this the Krusty Krab?" And Patrick answers, and he goes, "No, this is Patrick." <laughs> <laughs> okay, the best SpongeBob is there. Krusty Krab training, employee training film. Oh, yeah. It's a really that, good one. I was choking on that one. <laughs> it's all true. Yeah. Funniest thing. <laughs> Steve, what's your favorite SpongeBob cartoon episode? Yeah, Dad. I haven't seen enough. Wow. I just remember the one episode when I walked in and the kids were little and I saw uh, somebody who was saying to SpongeBob, I'm going to take over the world. And he goes, huh, good luck with that. <laughs> Plankton. <laughs> good luck with that. So that's your favorite episode. That's the only thing I've seen. <laughs> SpongeBob memories. <laughs>
I remember back when SpongeBob first came out. Yeah. It, was, it was the newest greatest thing. Newest greatest. Newest greatest. Other than Dad, of course. Dad and Brad. Yeah. The dynamic duo. Don't tell Mom I said that. <laughs> Dark. Dark it is. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because you're getting so much chocolate. <laughs> One egg. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we just had a meeting mm -hmm. with corporate about what color egg to sacrifice, milk or dark. Yeah. Okay, so you want to see me wrap this. But yep. we already wrapped all the eggs. Yeah. So I, for, to, I forgot until I was editing. I was like, oh, we didn't have it. So just to make you happy, <laughs> I'm going to unwrap this egg. And then wrap it. And then unwrap it again. And then cut it. There That's what it looks like. It's egg shaped. Wow. Who would have thunk? Wait, I know. focus in on it. There you go. Wow. That's a real egg head. Yes. I wish. <laughs> now you got egg on your face. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna wrap it. Okay. Wait. You're gonna. You're I can't gonna... cheat and use the same. Oh mm, man, you're gonna come sacrifice on, a piece of foil. Yeah. She was crap. Just for all the viewers. <laughs> okay. So if I was a package of dark blue foil, where would I be? Oh, okay. Well, let's turn on the music. Over here. Okay. Yeah, hiding. Thank you, and I'm not going to give it back. I'm not going <laughs> to give it back. Because you only have one peanut butter cup over there, I so. Don't need it. Yeah, I That's feel like you don't need it. Yours. Okay. So this is how you wrap the egg. Wrap the egg. Wrap the egg. Gosh, I'm a good singer. That could probably be. A top 40 hit, don't you think? I thought it was. No, I just invented it just now. Oh. And then you want to burnish it with a towel to bring out the egg-like features. But Linda cannibalized the towel. <laughs> Linda's got the towel under those peanut butter cups. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know why. So I'll just use this one. It's not hot, right? I'll just use this one. I'll just use the edge of this. It's not the end of the world. So you burnish it. A towel is a towel. As long as see, this is a heat sealer. Mm -hmm. But it's not hot at this part. So, I mean, you, you kind of get the idea of how it's done. I'm just trying to like get all the creases and just stuff out. Just smooth it out. Yep. And then at that point, you bring it to the the orange weighing machine. Mm-hmm. And you weigh it. Okay. What's it supposed to weigh? One. It weighs one and a half. One and a half. So then you get your egg label, and it's egg shaped too, which is very handy. Do we yeah. have one handy? I'm going. I'm hoping for a handy egg label. Let's see. Last time I saw them, they were over here. Hmm. I wonder if the rug men took them. The what? The Rugman? The no, Rugman? you don't know about the Rugman, do you? No. Okay, a long, long time ago, before you were born, before your sister was born, um, your father and I had the rugs replaced upstairs. Mm -hmm. And we had to move all of our furniture, and it was right around Thanksgiving time. We to, you know, we had to move everything else so they could put all the rugs down. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, it was right around Thanksgiving time. Well, shortly thereafter, we noticed that our box of cassette tapes <gasps> our music cassette tapes were missing and your dad said oh i bet the rug man took them <laughs> the rug man. the rug man i was like i don't know they seem like such nice guys i don't think the rug man did it so you know we blamed from then on we blamed a lot of stuff on the rug man mm. and then one day i cleaned out the car and found the box of cassette tapes under the seat of the car we had gone to thanksgiving up at black lake and mm. visited your grandparents and took our cassettes with us for the long drive yeah so the rug men were completely innocent in the uh theft of music <laughs> so that's the rug men story okay wow. so i'm making a little mark on coconut mm -hmm. right there now you know it's coconut and then the weight <laughs> 1.5 and then I'm gonna to pretend to stick it on here because why should I have to throw that away? Because you want me to cut this open. Let's show where you would put it. I would put it here. No, no, no. I mean like, well, you why wait? So why are these over here instead of over there? Is it just too many? That you this can't is where they all? go. Okay. This is this is their final resting spot. I just re reorganized things this morning and hmm. it freed up space over here, so we're gonna be having a lot more big stuff. 
Big stuff? Big stuff. Big It'll stuff. be like bunny related, Easter related things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. More <laughs> big stuff. I, did, I just had to rearrange things. And mm. I'll be doing it again. <laughs> so, this is what it would look like. I would stick the sticker on the back just like that. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to do that because yeah. instead I'm going to cut this in half and those girls can share it. Yeah. Or they can arm wrestle for the whole <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what they're going to yeah, do. They're, I'm just they're gonna, both pretty vicious. I'm going to let them work it out between the two of them. <laughs> One bigger than the other. <laughs> well, if, if I was going to, if I had kids that were um, going to, if I thought they were going to fight over who got the biggest piece, I would say, okay, one person gets to cut it, the other person gets to choose first. Mm. That's how you do it. I remember when you did that. Yeah, because then there's no fighting. If there is, I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> yeah. That was off of my policy, wasn't it? So yeah. Sometimes we get folks in here that, like, oh, I have to get both ribbons have to be green or they're going to fight. It's like, what would happen if you guys did that? Mm. If you were going to argue over the ribbon color? Like, mm, nobody gets it. Mm. Or whoever's doing the arguing, you're not getting it. Go to your room. Ooh, that's gooey. Yeah, it looks like you're having trouble even cutting it open. You notice how I did it long ways this time. Yeah. Because last time I, might cu I cut it in half. So then people know what it looks like both ways. Well, and also it's easier, since it's an odd shape, it's easier to make it more fair because I don't want them to fight. Yeah, that sounds like something they I don't do. want to send them to their room for arguing with each other. They've been getting along really well. Okay, that's all I got, oh, Craig. Okay. I just wait this one. It's already late. Do you guys want to do a taste test or no? <laughs> there you go, Linda. Go ahead. <laughs> I gave up sweets for Lent, okay. so I can't. I just want a little. Do you like coconut? Sometimes. Sometimes. That's a good judgment. It's very good. Mm hmm. Well, you heard it here first. Very I good. Try it. <laughs> yeah, actually, this coconut is very, very good. Nice and creamy and. I'm looking at my chops here. 